I want to welcome everybody. This conference is really about bringing people from totally different backgrounds. But all these people dealing with the same type of problem and get these people to exchange ideas to spur innovation, to spur new organizational methods, a new institutional way to look at things, new technologies. It's not specifically about technologies, it's about how do we bring technology to solve old problems, how do we bring new ideas to solve old and very important problems, which is the issue of disaster risk around the world. JAM is this initiative to create a global model of seismic risk, so a model that will provide users with a, with a characterization of the level of seismic risk around the globe, and it's involving the entire community in the process. Crowdsourcing, it's just another form of outsourcing, but it's outsourcing to usually an undefined uh, in number of individuals, usually a large number of individuals, and it's usually done through an open call to action. It, why is it important? Because you can start getting information from the disaster affected populations in near real time, far quicker than you could if you had to set up the normal, traditional, formal information management system. Social networks offer a variety of advantages for disaster risk assessment. One is that the information can be geotagged, it can come from reliable sources. Um, if you're socially networked with someone, that's someone you know and the source you can trust, and it's real time. So in that way, you can help in a number of ways. Tremendous uh, progress has been made in satellite-borne data and other observation systems, and they can be used to um, improve prediction and forecasting of natural hazards such as floods and droughts. I'm hoping that we can sort of find new partnerships that will enable us at the community level to really tap into this great world of high-tech stuff and opportunities out there to find new ways to help communities uh, manage their own risk. So open source software is software that's developed collaboratively. It's important because it really taps into the innovation of lots of people and it's available to anyone. This has a lot of potential in the developing world for people you know, to do their own innovation. So it has a lot of potential to help everyone really understand their risk locally. I'm going to present the exposure and vulnerability models of the Capra platform. The big impact of Capra uh, is related to its characteristics. Capra is an open source uh, software. Um, it has a lot of information included that can be easily shared uh, between different type of actors related to risk management um, actions. And therefore our, our goal, our main goal is to reach the government people through which we can um, easily apply the, these methodologies of analysis to different type of countries, especially uh, countries, de developing countries. In 